weekend off? Yeah, we don't have many of them. There's a lot of games throughout the season, so that was a wee bit strange, but uh, got a couple of good days training in and we're ready for the game tomorrow. A boost from yesterday's result at Livingston? Um, to be fair, we're just focusing on ourselves. Um, Drop points in our last game, but we'll be able to go and uh, put on a performance tomorrow night and uh, hopefully get through to the next round. Is that a game like the Kilmarnock game was for you? It just shows how difficult it can be times to get to get past defences. On so, well, on our game, I can only speak for ourselves. Um, we uh, probably didn't create enough in the game, but uh, Kilmarnock defended well. But uh, we've we've left that behind now. Um, we've went over it and we're uh, ready for tomorrow and hopefully go and get that right. How much are you looking forward to starting a European journey? Yeah, exactly. Um, the gaffer's been uh, big one. He wants us to qualify. Um, and tomorrow's the first chance to go down and uh, progress in the qualifying stages. What have you made of these one-off games that have been taking place in the Champions League and Europa League? Because there's no room for error now, is there? Yeah, I've actually quite liked it. I thought the like tournament-esque of it has been uh, it's worked and it's been nice to watch on the telly. You've had a game at least each night, so... That's been a bonus for myself personally, but no, I quite like this, uh, the way it's went, So, but I don't know if it'll be here to stay or not. I mean, it's obviously the first qualifying round, and your, your big favour is to get through, but will the psychology change, do you think, because it's not a two-legged affair? Um, yeah, possibly. Um, there's, the onus is on this 90 minutes. Um, maybe never hear you want to drop points or you want to lose or whatever, but um, certainly in this game you can't afford to because you'd be out, so no, we know um, we need to go and do the job in the 90 minutes tomorrow. Do you feel the match ready for it now? Obviously, you've had a wee bit of time off. You would have hoped to have had a good run of games before this one. No, exactly. Um, with the games, uh, it was not ideal been off, but uh, we've we've got we got a good few pre-season games into us, and then we played two league games. So no, um, there's no excuses. Come tomorrow night, we'll be ready. Personally, what does it mean to you getting back involved in European action? What do you hope you can learn? Yeah, um, I think on a whole, the European campaign last season was a success. Um, it was disappointing to go out to Copenhagen. Um, we had a poor second half in the second leg and that was probably the only damper on that uh, European campaign. But no, um, it's the Champions League qualifiers and uh, that's a competition we want to qualify for. Obviously, after the Kilmarnock game, it came out that volleyball and goalie had flown to Spain. Obviously, that's why the last two games have been off. What was the reaction amongst the, the players when you first heard that, that our focus is purely on tomorrow now. Um, it's been dealt with by the club. We've not seen Bolly's He's been quarantining, so I'm sure that will get discussed at a later date. Has it been a, a really strange week or so with, with all that going on? No, um, it's been uh, business as usual for us. We've just been getting down to training. The training's been a good week, and uh, all our focus has been on that. We're um, fortunate that we've had each day of training, and um, it's been a good standard. Is it something that you felt as a squad you need to move past? I'm assuming it'll be something that you know was talked about a lot at, at the time. Um, as you said, yeah, we're moving past it. Uh, we can't afford to dwell on things in the past. We've got a game uh, tomorrow night, and uh, that's what all our focus is on. Okay, I can ask a few person would be comfortable for him to come back to the training room. Just to get out his comments on him coming back into the, the changing room, the, the squad's training, all that kind of thing. I think it'll be discussed uh, as a team privately. And um, when Bolly does come back, it's it's an in-house matter, and uh, that's I'll probably leave it there. Yeah. How important is this um, European thing for you? There's obviously a huge domestic prize this season. How big is Europe in comparison to that? Massive. Uh, Europe is massive. Um, it's massive at a club of size every year and nothing uh, changes this year. So tomorrow's the first qualifying game and uh, we need to go and win it. Greg, I'm sure you've been uh, working out the opposition all week, looking at tactical drills and everything like that. Uh, what, what, what can we expect? And obviously most Celtic fans won't have seen Red Kick play. What can we expect? I think they'll make it hard for us. Um, they'll probably come in their uh, shape. They'll be hard to uh, sit behind the ball and uh, they'll love a threat on the counter-attack. So we need to be aware. We can't give any chances away defensively. And equally, we need to go on, put on a performance and do what we can do. Uh, put our strengths onto them and see how they deal with that. Obviously, the, the atmosphere at Celtic Park and European nights is, is famed and, and obviously that would help the players. How do you as players get yourselves up for that, especially when it's, when it's European night and usually the fans will... We'll urge you on so much. How do you get up for that when there's no fans in there? We won't struggle to be up for it. Um, we want to qualify and uh, we, that's our motivation there. We will miss our fans, of course. We're all the 12th man for us and uh, certainly on a European night, they're superb. But um, 
that's not an excuse for us. We'll uh, look forward to when they're back, but um, tomorrow night we understand what it's all about, and that's uh, our motivation there. How's the new lad settled in? Are you happy with training? Yeah, exactly. He trained today. He trained a couple of days. He's um, a great lad. He spoke. He's been uh, fitted in well, and um, he's looked sharp in training. So hopefully, um, come tomorrow night and f in the future, he can show what he'll bring to the club. And have you seen already that you think all oh, this is that's good? That looks yeah, exactly. He looks a strong lad. His touch is good, and um, he's scored certainly in the smaller games we've had him um, off left and right foot. So looks quite two footed. So now I think he'll be a bonus for us to have.